The model behind me is a beautiful three bedrooms, two bathroom, two car garage, 1,415 square foot, and get this 363 900 out the door. Let's have a look, let's go. Welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules and guys today I am back in one of my favorite city right now, St. Cloud. There's so much growth that is happening. Everything is off spilling from the Lake Nona side and I can tell you guys if you are looking for an area that's going to be developing and you get more appreciation. St. Cloud is fantastic on this side of the town. And then we also have Claremont on the other side. And now if you want to watch the video about these two amazing cities that are up and coming, make sure to check out Orlando Living. Today's model is a beautiful three bedrooms, two bathroom, two car garage, 1,415 square foot home. And get this guys, you can buy this house with zero down zero down that is correct so the first thing you're going to notice is that you have this nice long driveway which can easily put two cars right over here and then you have this nice walkway that leads you to your front porch area and i love this about this home with the amount of packages and stuff that we get these days if the HOA permits you can actually screen this and have a door and then people can just drop in your packages it's a little bit protected now as as compared to just having it up in the open so let's go inside now everything that I show you this is the end price but I'll give you more information about the base price the lot price and everything else that I do uh, on my channel when I describe these uh, beautiful builder models so let's go in and check this beautiful house out. Hello, hello and welcome to another beautiful home. Now guys, if this is your first time, you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Press that thumbs up button, show me some love because I bring you 8 plus models all throughout Central Florida, Tampa, Tampa Bay and now Ocala areas. We go to all these builder models, give you the information, everything that you need to know about the model, the base price and everything. So this specific house is three bedrooms, two bathroom, two car garage, single story. Everything that you see is you get every upgrade everything that you see this is the way it comes and the inventory price for this specific home is 363,900 the base price is 347 it's on a 40 by 120 lot the lot price could be anywhere from five to eight thousand dollars so you're kind of in in the mid 300s with a little bit of an upgrade and if you're looking for that starter home and you're up stuck with with the you know the winters you know as as snowy and white it gets and you're looking for a way out this is a great area to be in and if you haven't watched my videos about St. Cloud, make sure to check out Orlando Living with D. That's where I bring you suburban area information. So the ceiling height is going to be 9 foot with the standard 6 8 door. These are the tiles that you get. Now this is an inventory home so the builder is doing a lot more. They are, they are offering 4.99% interest rate plus $10,000 in flex money plus all appliances and I'm going to tell you why they are doing this on an inventory home as compared to a home that you are going to build. So you also have a little bit of a coat closet right over here for like four days that it kind of gets cold and then it's hot and humid as you can see I'm just sweating. The whole house just kind of opens up. This is your living area. Now I always talk about this guys it's not about the square footage as much as it is about the flow of the house. The flow of the house matters the most than the square footage. So that is something to keep in mind because a lot of people kind of get so lost in the square footage that they don't realize that I can show you a 2,000 square foot home that's going to look a lot bigger than a 2,500 square foot home because of the flow of the house. Sometimes the bedroom size are pretty standard but then you have a lot of dead space and it just doesn't make sense. So this is the living area from your kitchen and I'll take you in the kitchen in just a moment. But right over here is your secondary bedroom. So you have a pretty good size. Now, whenever I do the bedrooms, I always want to tend to go in the corner to kind of give you an idea. So you get this nice fixture right there. It's kind of built in such a way so your ceiling height over here can go up to 11 feet. It's just the way the design of the house is. With this specific builder, you know, you're in a community which qualifies for a USDA loan. A USDA loan is basically for the outskirts of suburban area that would qualify and you don't have to put anything down. So if you're looking for a good, now your rate may be a little bit different, but the thing is that you don't have to put anything down and if the builder is paying most of the closing cost and giving you flex money and buying you the rate down, 
They're making it super affordable. And the reason they want to do that, this is a house ready on the market, available today to the buyer. First come, first serve because it's costing the builder money. Now, if they have a big plot or a plot of land that they cut it into small plots, they already bought that. They're not gonna give you any discount on a to be built home, but if the house is built, it's there. They're paying for electricity, they're paying for utilities, they're afraid about the vandalism. They're gonna give you a much bigger discount and with most builders, what they're also doing is they're buying the rate down and get this, it's not a 2-1 buy down, it's a buy down for all 30 years, which is a lot more costlier. So it makes it easier. And right now, you know, I've been saying this for a very long time, guys, you may or may not like me, but the question that you really, really have to ask yourself is, can I afford today's payment with today's rate? Instead of trying to time the market and trying to figure everything, the sun, moon, and the sky is gonna line and you're gonna buy, guess what? Five, 10 years will go by and you completely put yourself out of the situation. The thing is you should be able to buy, build your equity and then use that equity to go. And I'm not saying this just to sell you a home. I'm saying this, someone who has personally did that. I recently bought a house. I moved from a 1300 square foot condo to a big house that me and my wife built using the equity in the house that I was living for the last 10 years. So just my thoughts. So you also have this closet door and I like that you have a solid door. And if you look at it, it's not your standard door. This is an upgraded door and this is the standard with this builder. Now, if you want to know, hey, for my base price of 347.9, what is the standard? Like one of the standard is that you have this nice baseboard. It's a little bit bigger than your standard baseboard that you see. That is standard. Your refrigerator, washer, dryer with this builder, they are giving that only on inventory homes. So that is something to keep in mind. Your 18 by 18 tile and your granite is standard with this builder. You also have a small closet area right over here and you have the AC handle right behind this. So I'm not going to open that. It's going to just create a lot of noise but you have this bedroom right over here whenever you can build from scratch guys I would always say get extra lights in the bedroom especially in the master bedroom and in the bedroom that you are going to use as your office if it's a den or an open flex space I would highly highly suggest that you also have your closet space right over here just a little bit bigger than the other one it's a little bit deep so it kind of goes a little bit like maybe a foot but nothing extraordinary and again it is about the flow of the house with the way the market is. There's a lot that is actually changing and I want you to be aware of it. Now, right across is your secondary bathroom. Pretty decent size. You have the granite undermount sink. That This is the standard cabinet. You have your shower tub combination with the tile. Um, and this is basically a plexiglass. And you can get it upgraded if you want when you're building from scratch. So that is something to keep in mind. And then right behind this is going to be your laundry area. So the washer and the dryer is included with this builder only on their inventory home. So this house will come with that and they will furnish that at the time of the closing or just before the closing. Now let me go ahead and take you inside because I wanted to show you something. You have your attic entrance right over here. It is a block construction home. So some of the builders right now are just doing complete frame. I'm personally not very comfortable with that. You know, I understand a lot of builders are doing block on the first floor second floor is going to be framed that's pretty much standard other than one or two builders but the other thing i want to point out is that this is how you will get the flooring you can always get it epoxy with this builder you're not getting the garage door opener which is probably about four five hundred dollars that you can get but they have a provision so you can have the opener right over here so it's wired for it you just have to buy the stuff and the other thing is that they have this water heater behind this wall which is kind of nice in my house my water heater is on the corner with the ballard which kind of tells me not to hit it so i don't run into my own uh, water heater but i like when they have something enclosed as they do which is kind of hiding that away and it's a little bit more safer but that's just my thoughts and again you know buying a house is a very personal thing you know what is good for you may or may not be good for me so it really depends upon you and your family but i just love the flow and that is why i concentrate more on the flow of the house so this is all your open area your family living this is where life happens you also have a dining nook right over here you know you can have a decent sized table like a round table right there but i just love the l shape one of the things that i do want to point out with this specific builder is that they don't have the microwave venting outside 
That is one of the biggest thing. When I build my house, I make sure that my microwave is venting outside. We use a lot of spices, so it's kind of nice. So one of the other things that I want to point out, this is something that my wife does all the time. You know, she'll come to the house and she'll be like, oh, let me just see. Oh, it's not a soft close. Same thing with the drawers or the drawers there and the cabinet. These are not soft close, but you can get it as a soft close on an upgrade. Now, the lot size is 40 by 120. These are more like a bungalow style, but let me go ahead and take you outside. So one of the other things I want to point out is that you have the covered lanai. Now, it may not be as big as the other models that I've shown you, but this is what you have. Now, this is on a 40 by 120. It's more of a longer house. It's a single story, so the pad of the house is taking a lot of space. In this specific lot, your lot size is going to be up until this point. You don't have a lot of room to be able to build a pool. Usually on a 40 by 120, you are able to do that, especially if it's a two-story home. You get enough space that you can easily build a pool but in this specific model you are not able to do that also the refrigerator is not included however if you buy an inventory home it will be included at the time of the closing one of the other things i want to point out is that you see this this is kind of curved it doesn't have the sharp which is kind of nice you know my son he's going to be turning five he's just about this height and with kids you know they just run they don't see they just run so it's kind of nice that it's not sharp because I've seen with some of my clients home uh, that bought older homes they were really nice sharp and they had to buy those edges kind of put it in there just to protect them so just these little things kind of really matters when you are in a house you just have to make sure like when my kids were growing up I got to make sure that everything was kids friendly and you know like they can't just open any and all cabinets and stuff like that so these are the things that you just have to keep in mind this is your master bedroom and look at the size of this master bedroom I love the fact that they were smart enough to put extra lights over here as you can see so you have a fan you have those extra lights. You can actually have a fan with the light. That would have been great too. But with most builders, you're only going to get a light fixture with this builder on their inventory home. This is how it comes. You also have the closet space right over here. Not a huge fan of these racks, but this is a good size that you can easily make. You know, you can go to a custom closet and, and just go to Ikea, get some stuff and make this a little bit more useful. Your attic entrance is over here. You had another attic entrance through your garage. And let me go ahead and take you to the master bathroom. Nothing extraordinary, but the fact that you have the double sink with the granite. It's the undermount sink cabinet. This is the regular standard feature with the builder with the frame walk-in shower. And this is not plexiglass, this is actually a tile. I would have loved if the tile would have gone all the way up, but hey, for the price that I'm getting, all out for 363,900, it's a great deal in an area that is just growing by leap and bound. It's close to Lake Nona, it's also close to the Orlando International Airport, and it is one of the most up and coming area, if I may. You know, Claremont would be the first one that I would suggest. I personally build a house there with all the growth. Lake Nona is expanding. There's a lot that's happening and they have some big, big communities that are going to spill over. Like I remember when I first came to Orlando in 2001, Orlando was great. Nobody used to talk about Kissimmee. Then everything started going into Kissimmee. Orlando became like quite expensive. Now from Kissimmee, it's getting into Davenport and Haines City. Same thing is happening on this side of the town where things are spilling over from one suburban area to another. Well, I hope my video does bring in a lot of value for you. And if they do, please press that thumbs up button, show me some love. And if you haven't checked Orlando Living With D, please go ahead and do so. And a lot is changing in our industry, guys. You know, Rao, when you call an agent, you do have to sign a buyer broker agreement, which basically states that you will be buying a home. It doesn't obligate you to buy a home. What it basically says is that if you are going to buy a home, they will be your agent. It wasn't mandatory before, but after August 17th, it became a new law. It became a new thing that we as agents have to do. And also most of our commissions were previously paid by the seller, it was pre-negotiated. Builders are still doing that. That may or may not be the case with the resales, smart resale, like my clients that are reselling, I'm always suggesting that you offer some sort of a compensation to the buyer's agent. And most of the agents are now going to negotiate that at the time of the offer. So these are a couple of things. If you don't know about it, I would say you Google it so you are well educated. And choosing the right agent is super, super important. So make sure to check our reviews out on Google, on Facebook, on Zillow. We are here to help and serve you. Until the next video, thank you for watching. Bye for now.